Hello class, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will show you how to determine whether the given function is continuous at a given value of x. So a function is continuous if it is continuous at every point on the interval. So the graph of a function that is continuous on an interval consists of an unbroken curve. So meaning, dapat yung graph ng ating uh, continuous na function is dapat walang putol. Okay, so paano ba natin malalaman kung continuous yung ating function? So sabi dito, a function f of x is said to be continuous at x equals a if, number 1, f of a is defined, number 2, the limit of f of x exists as x approaches a, and number 3, yung limit dapat natin ng ating function as x approaches a is equal dun sa ating number 1 na f of a. Okay? So, let's have example number 1. Determine whether each of the given functions is continuous at a given value of x. So, we have f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 3 at x equals 0. So, ang first step natin dito guys, para ma-check natin kung continuous ba yung ating function, is kunin na, or aalamin natin kung yung f of a ba natin is defined. Okay, ano ba yung f of a natin dito? Ang a natin dito is yung 0, yung value ng x. Okay, so we have f of 0 equal, so substitute natin yan dun sa ating function. We have 0 square plus 2 times 0 plus 3. So simplify natin to, so makakancel yung dalawang zeros dito. So ang f of 0 natin is defined which is equivalent to 3. So, after natin magawa yan, itetest naman natin kung yung limit ng ating uh, function as x approaches a exist. So, check natin kung nag -e exist pa yung ating limit ng function as x approaches a. So, sa given natin, ang ating function is we have x square plus 2x plus 3. So, as x approaches a, which is 0. So, substitute lang natin yan. We have 0 square plus 2 times 0 plus 3. So, makakancel yung two zeros natin dito. So, the limit of the function as x approaches 0 is equal to 3. Okay? So, the limit exists. So, check naman natin sa yung third condition. Sabi dito, uh, the limit of the function as x approaches a is equal ba kay f of a. So, kung you observe natin dito guys, sa ang step 3 natin, yung ating limit ng function as x approaches a is equal doon sa ating f of 0. Tama? Pareha silang equivalent to 3. So, therefore, yung function natin is continuous at x equals 0. Nakuha ba guys? So, kung i-check natin yung graph nyan, kung tatry natin i-graph yung ating uh, x square plus 2x plus 3, yung function, so, makikita natin dito, na walang putol yung ating graph. Okay? So, we have a parabola. Then, kung i-check nyo yung x equals 0, is pasok siya doon sa ating interval. Nakuha ba guys? So, next, let's have example number 2. f of x equals x cubed minus 1 at x equals 1. So again, ang first step natin is check natin if f of a is defined. Okay, so in our case, 
Ang value ng a natin is 1. So, we have f of 1 equals x cubed, which is 1 cubed minus 1. So, we have 1 minus 1. This is 0. So, ang f of 1 natin is equivalent to 0. Okay? So, next, letter B. Check naman natin if the limit ng ating function as x approaches a exists. Okay, so ang limit natin dito is yung function natin is we have x cubed minus 1 as x approaches 1. So evaluate natin yung limit. So we have 1 cubed minus 1. So that is 1 minus 1. So the limit exists at 0. Okay, so ang limit natin is 0. So, meaning, nag -e exist yung ating limit. So, next, try, step C, try natin i-compare yung ating limit ng ating function as x approaches a doon sa ating f of a. So, kung ma-observe natin, parehas silang equal to 0. So, therefore, yung ating function is continuous at x equals 1. Okay, so kung you observe natin yung kanyang graph, makikita natin na yung graph ng ating function is unbroken or walang putol. Okay? So next, let's have example number 3. So we have g of x equals x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 at x equals 2. So, para ma-check natin kung continuous ba yung ating function, step A natin, check natin if g of 2 defined. Okay, so substitute natin si 2. We have 2 square minus 4 over 2 minus 2. So, sa numerator natin, we have 2 square which is 4 minus 4, that is 0. Then, 2 minus 2, you also have 0. So, yung g of 2 natin is indeterminate. Okay? So, next is check naman natin if the limit ng ating g of x as x approaches a exist. So, dito, yung ating uh, g of x, we have x square minus 4 over x minus 2 as x approaches a which is positive 2. So, as we observe, hindi tayo kagad pwedeng mag-evaluate uh, mag ng limit since yung denominator natin is magiging 0. So, isi-simplify muna natin yung ating numerator to x plus 2, x minus 2, or if a factor, yung ating x square minus 4. Okay? So, ang denominator natin is x minus 2 as x approaches 2. So, in this case, makakancel na natin yung ating x minus 2. So, pwede na tayo ngayon mag-evaluate ng limit. So, ang limit natin is magiging 2 plus 2, which is 4. So, therefore, the limit exists. Okay, so next is, check naman natin if yung, sa step si natin, if yung limit ni g of x as x approaches a is equal ba kay g of a? So, in our case, ang g of a natin is indeterminate while the limit is equal to 4. So, therefore, hindi sila equal. Okay, so kung hindi natin na-meet yung ating uh, third, third condition, so therefore, our function is discontinuous at x equals 2. Ibig sabihin, putol yung ating functions kay x equals 2. Okay, so verify natin sa graph. So, kung mapansin nyo dito guys, uh, ang graph ng ating function is a uh, straight line. But as you can see, if x is equal to 2, yung ating graph is magkakaroon ng parang hole. Which means na yung ating graph is a broken curve. Okay, so may putol. So, 
So, na-validate natin na yung ating function is discontinuous. So, nakuha ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!